Hello and welcome. My name is Anthony, one half of Rianne, and today we are continuing The Legend of Dragoon. We are back, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Thank you for the well wishes. Um, I have been away for a little while. Hey, Rod, thank you for the cheer. Let's catch up with some stuff. Thank you, Rod, for the cheer. Thank you, Sir Neo. Thank you, Captain Cadaver. Johnny, thank you guys for tuning in and, um, you know, wishing me well. Um, I've been out a little bit. I caught a bit of a cold. Um, nothing too serious, but um, whenever I get a cold, for me personally, it turns into a sinus infection. I don't know if you guys have ever had that before. With a little post-nasal drip. And that's where your sinuses are just constantly producing mucus and just dripping into your lungs. And that makes it incredibly difficult to sleep, to fall asleep. And then when I do manage to fall asleep, I wake up in the morning and my lungs are just full. And uh, it's difficult to breathe. And so I just had no sleep. It was difficult to, um, you know just a sore throat all of that all of that good stuff i'm feeling a lot better i'm not 100 percent, but i'm back um rested and ready for the legend of dragoon thank you guys for tuning in hey lou hey ostafia how's it going tonight guys i really appreciate you guys being here i wasn't sure if anyone was still going to be here when i came back but thank you for showing up <clears throat> i'm going to be clearing my throat and if i do need to cough i will mute the microphone and I have a, a cough drop, so, yeah. Yeah, Johnny says, yeah, I hate sinus affections. Also glad I finished eating before your description. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't too, uh, too graphic, was I? <laughs> but, yeah. Feeling a lot better. Rested. Um, so, let's, let's see if we remember what's going on in the game. Right? Sad stuff. Last stream, right? We lost Lavitz. It was revealed that the... The character working with the big boy. Oh my god, I forgot all the names! Um, was Lloyd, the person we fought against in the arena in that one town. Um, Lavitz defeated. Now we have Prince Albert in our party. And... Um, He's taken up the Dragoon Spirit that was once Lavitz's. And then at the end of the last stream, I remembered chat was like, Hey, try uh, try the additions. It was confirmed that everything transferred over. Stats, um, additions, and everything transferred over to Albert. But we tried the Gust of Wind Dance, and the timing was completely different. So I had to relearn the timing for that. Or I have to relearn the timing for that. <clears throat> Oh, man. King Albert. That's right. That's right. Thank you for the corrections. I'm going to need you guys to help me out with um, remembering names and events and stuff. It has been like, what, like two weeks since I last streamed this? Um, but we're here. Let's jump right into it. So the team had a little powwow. Everyone has renewed resolve that we need to do something about the bad guys. I, I genuinely don't know where to go. So let's just go. I'm open to hints just because it's been a while about which direction I need to go, where where the party is headed. Hey Zoller, what's up? We are back. Um the main objective now is to go ahead to the Black Castle in Kansas. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate that. I did remember that we're like, we gotta go after the bad guys. I don't know if that was like we have to stop by somewhere first. Thank you, Zoller. I am feeling better. Not 100%, but we're here. Well enough that I feel okay streaming. I'm going to have to clear clear my throat, so I'll try not to do that stuff right into the microphone. All right, perfect. Early enemies for me to relearn how the timings of everything. All right, um... 
I still got it. I still got it. All right, here we go. Gust of Wind Dance with Albert. Kansas is between the road that connects Lohan with Helena Prison. Okay. I think I know. That's like... Well, I can rotate the camera. We'll, we'll check the map. I know. I know. I have an idea where that is. Okay. Thousand points for me if I get this. A thousand points for me. I got it. <laughs> I still got it, guys. Oh, yes. And the cheer. Thank you, Rod. I really appreciate it. It feels good to be back. And Zoller with the cheer. You guys are so generous. I really appreciate it. How have you guys been? Have you guys been playing any games this last uh, week or two? What games have you guys been playing? It's like you never left. I mean, I didn't leave. I was stuck at home in bed, pretty much, Johnny. Still here. <laughs> what about you, Johnny? What have you been playing? And I do have tea. I have tea today, so that should help. I just gotta stay hydrated. Alright, let's taste the tea. Let's give the tea a taste. Nice warm beverage. Feels good. Sir Nayo, how are you? Zoller says, I was actually at wedding this past weekend, so I'm not happy you were sick, but I'm glad I didn't miss a Legend of Dragoon stream. Hey. I know that you watch the VODs anyway, so even if you missed it, well, it is nice having you here live, Zoller, and I appreciate that. Cerneo, so, yeah, the uh, Legend Dragon music is... I've missed it, most definitely. Johnny, still on my quest to 100% all the Zeldas, almost done with Skyward Sword. That is sweet. Is there a particular order that you're going through, Johnny? Is it like Hyrule, Historia, Chronological Order? Or is it like Release Order? What have you been doing? My wife and kids have been waiting for me to play Breath of the Wild since Christmas. As in, like, as in they want to watch you? Have, have they been watching you play these games? Or have they played it and are just waiting for you to give it a shot? Dang, that sounds like such a good time. Oh, missed that one. Should I, like, check everyone's additions to see if I need to change anything? Yeah, let's take a peek at that. It's been a while. And Zola with a great question. Johnny, do you stream it? That would be fun to watch. Alright, so Dart is pretty much maxed out on his additions. Um, Just barely leveled up this new one. Ashel. Should we put him in the party? Just to have him in the party? Gust of Wind Dance is finally leveled up. I, I wish I could switch out Dart. The nice thing is we did learn that the other party members get experience. Like half the experience, right? Oh, you've thought about it, Johnny. Well, you feel free to let us all know as soon as you've decided to uh, try out streaming. We'd be happy to come hang out. That's right. That's Helena Prison, right? I think I can actually press select. Right? Oh, start. 
start tells me. There it is. That's the black castle. Great. Oops. All right, let's head over there and save right outside. Whoa, what the heck is this? Uh, my guess. What is my guess? Wait, have I seen this enemy? Crystal Golem. Crystal Golem. I think I have seen this enemy. Oh, yeah, the elements and everything. Do I remember how to play this game? Let's, um... I still remember I have this. Magic Signet Stone? Is it Signet? Shrine of Shirley. That's right. That's where we saw this enemy. Okay. Yes. Oh, wasn't even wasn't it like not a threat at all too? Oh, I whiffed it on the last one. Still a ton of damage. <clears throat> Johnny's been playing Release Order. I got access to the original Link's Awakening very recently, so that was out of order. Oh, nice! Were you playing it on an actual Game Boy? I'm, I'm assuming you got, like... Actually, what are the other ways to play Link's Awakening? Is there... Is it on the Virtual Console on the 3DS or the Wii U? I wonder, how, how, how did you gain access to the original Link's Awakening? How many Stardust do you have at, uh, right now? Uh, let's check. How many should I have by now? Don't tell me I'm missing like a dozen. I have 14. <coughs> 14. We got 14. That's good news then, right? Let's save it. We're outside of the Black Castle. <clears throat> We're here. I'm gonna pop another cough drop real quick. Sorry for the noise. Whoa, we're just walking in? You. Aren't you new here? I'm not gonna be able to do a bunch of voices today either, okay? <laughs> Sorry for that. Yo, how are we just in here? First, the dragon dies. Then those in Basil lower their guard, and taking advantage of that, attack the royal capital. Even losing the dragon must have been part of the plan. That's our Emperor Dole. Six stardust to collect, gotcha. <clears throat> Whoa, Johnny, one of those Raspberry Pi consoles? I have no idea if those are widely known. What? I know what a Raspberry Pi is, but I'm, I'm just wondering what... I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, if you don't want to get too specific, I 100% understand, Johnny. I'm just genuinely curious. Is it like one of the Retron devices where they allow you to use the original physical cartridges? No internet, so no one looks what, knows what you look like. Zoller, that is an amazing point. Great point. I just look like some guy, right? They say that the battle at the 7th Fort and Hoax was part of a strategy to completely destroy the knighthood. I believe that. All right, Rod, you said there's six stardust to collect. Here, specifically? I'm gonna check like barrels. It is, um... Got one, yeah, it's always been like, not just randomly out in the open. All of them are before we enter the Black Castle. We are now at... Okay, cool. Great, great. We got one in there. No idea how big this place is going to be, but we already found one Stardust.
Whoa, big boy. Are you here to register as well? Yeah. A little punk like you would be a drag on everybody. I know what you are thinking. You want to make a killing by taking advantage of victory, don't you? I just registered. It'll be easy money for me. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what? It's the registration. It's the registration to be a mercenary. You said let's rake in some money by joining the Sandoras. Hey, you can't feel so confident anymore. Somebody defeated the dragon. In addition, Helena has fallen. I don't want to register. I take it back. What? You can't do it? Why? Uh, my grandpa is sick. See? This is my brother. He came here to get me. Well, so long then. <laughs> We only get that kind of recently. I'm telling you, change your mind. You're going to get sent to the front line as soon as you sign up. Well, that's nice of him. Don't make such a face. If you have money problems, I'll give you this. Take it. Whoa. That guy's nice. Oh, Johnny's clarifying. It's not like a Retron. You download the games onto it. It's very cool, and a friend of mine was so nice to gift it to me and put all the games on it when I had surgery so I could play while recovering. That is awesome. Is it a, um... Is it just straight up a, um, DIY, like Raspberry Pi? With, like, the, with like Retro Pi image on it? Dang. Morton, hey, thanks for tuning in. What disc are you on? I believe I still am on disc one. Um... Yes. I don't want to say anything too specific. Are you super familiar with the uh, the game? This is my first playthrough. And thanks for tuning in. There is no guarantee of life for mercenaries, even a penny's worth. If you don't want to die, don't register. Attack ball. Is that a weapon? <clears throat> no, it's not. Generates one of the attack items. What? As in, I consume this and it gives me like a magic spell item? A random one, maybe? Curious. That's just my prediction. I played it a long time ago, but can't remember a lot of it. Oh, that's sweet. Did you play it like PlayStation 1 back in uh, 2000? Because I had no always known about this game, but never played it until now. Pretty sweet. What other uh, what other kinds of games are you into, Morton? Other RPGs like this? Stardust. Oof. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate that, you know? Give me a chance to miss it, but once I've confirmed miss it, let me know. I thought I pressed the buttons all over it. Oh, yeah, I just missed it then. Thanks, Rod. I guess I need to spam the button even more thoroughly. Don't even think about doing something wrong, or I'm gonna bust you. <clears throat> okay, okay. Twister Glaive. Here we go. Sounds like a weapon for Albert. Wind based attack. Okay. Nope, I thought there would have been a Stardust in there. Yellow Triangle? Does that mean a shop? Probably. Let me look around first. Nope, no Stardust. It's been 20 years since the war started. Can you imagine how many customers came here? 
Do you want to know? You will get a kick out of it. I beg you, stay here. Think of it as charity. I'll stay one night. Yeah, I still have my disc. I love playing RPGs these days. I just prefer single player games. Morton, I hear you. I wish I had the free time that I had like 10, 15 years ago to be able to devote to like a multiplayer game. But these days, single player games are the way to go for me. Just being able to just play at my own pace. I've been sick for the last two weeks, so I was able to, I, I, I haven't been able to play the game. But, you know, I can just pick it up. Whereas if I was playing a multiplayer game, you know, maybe my friends passed me up or something. But yeah. Any specific RPGs you're uh, enjoying recently? Rod, are there any um, Stardust outside, out in the open? I saw the soldiers making scary faces and hanging out there. The soldiers out there are scary. There are lots of scary soldiers and I can't go to Popo's house. I wonder if Popo's okay. I want to play again together. Hey, last save point. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're feeling better, Anthony. I am feeling better. Not 100%, but well enough to dive right back in to The Legend of Dragoon. And I know that you just finished it, right? Congratulations, last save point, for finishing The Legend of Dragoon. No spoilers, but I appreciate you popping in to say hi. Morton's playing. Oh, we got a follow from Morton. Thank you so much. Here, Morton. This is a tradition on our channel. We celebrate your follow with a mini dance party. Feel free to join in. Kind of a somber song. But there it is. Thank you for the follow. And you're doing your first playthrough of Persona 5. Are you enjoying it so far? Are you a fan of the uh, Persona franchise? Or is that your first Persona game? Hmm. Okay, the kid's in my way. In the last few days, the guards became stricter. It seems they are expecting something. Now, most of the knights are gone. I wonder if they are afraid of rioting or something. Okay. It's actually my first Persona game. I'm liking it so far. Oh, that's great. That's good to hear. What platform are you playing it on? And are you playing the royal version? The new Sergio party. Where people who won't assent to being ruled by power get together and help each other. Oh, okay. The new Sergio party is a window to the salvation of the weak. When you're in trouble, rely on us. Last save point. Thank you very much for the kind words. Thanks for, you know, hanging out with me even though you're uh, done with the game. Glad to hear you're not, like, tired of it. Those two rooms in the back are called griping rooms. Your voice can't be heard on the outside, so they're good for releasing stress. Whoa. Okay. How did I hear that guy then? That NPC is just in my way, huh? I'm good. Okay. Hey, Addiction Friction, what's up? How are you doing tonight? Yeah, I wasn't sure which one to get. So the Royal version, and you're playing on PS4. Sweet. That's sweet. I believe the royal version is the way to go for people, for new players. Huh. No starters here? Okay. Occupied, gotcha. Is this NPC blocking my path? Okay, they were. They said you can't hear anything, except I'm hearing this guy. The motto of the new Sergio party. Most importantly, end the war. The powerless should protect their house. Protect by fighting. I have said everything I want to say. I'm doing okay, Addiction Friction. And thank you, Blur Cyrus. I'm doing much better, guys. Thank you guys for all of the well wishes on our Discord and here on our streams, on Audrey's streams. Um, had a bit of a cold. Um, trouble sleeping, so I just didn't have the energy to stream, really. Um, but I'm back. I'm, I'm feeling rested. I'm not quite 100% yet, but I'm excited to be back. Hmm. Underground Rebellion Brewing. Sketchy. What 
What did blue mean? Is this a shop? Yeah, maybe this is a shop. The other one was an inn. And Rod did say no uh, Stardust in there. Who's this guy? He has a cape. Mysterious adventure. I'm muting the microphone whenever I have to clear my throat, so that's for you guys. Can I talk to you a little? You guys look like adventurers, too. Well, well. I can just tell from how you look. In addition, you have been on a very risk risky adventure. Well, well. I can smell it from your aura. By the way, I have a great story to tell you because you appreciate the real stuff. Just between you and me, I defeated the dragon firebrand. <laughs> Rude. And we got a triple hydrate from Addiction Friction. And Stu Kage is here. What's up, Stu Kage? How are you? Yeah, the most important triple hydrate ever. Yep. Here we go. Thank you, Addiction Friction, for that. And I'm glad to be back, Stu Kage. Thank you very much for tuning in. How have you been? Playing any good games lately? Look at this guy, this poser here. Mysterious adventurer. <clears throat> yeah, the triple dots. Oh, you don't trust me. Then take a look at this. This is the feather of Firebrand. Whoa, don't touch it. You'll be poisoned by it. Trust me, right? Now I want to introduce you. <laughs> now I want to introduce this great product to you. It's a powerful drug that even beats dragons. The Dragon Beater. For a limited time offer, I'll give you this dragon's feather for free. Is there a guy who defeated Firebrand in here? He just tries to walk out. It must be you. Come with us. W wait a minute. I'm just a businessman. I was lying about the dragon. That's what you get, dude. Really hot stardust. Uh, not yet. Not buy something yet. Got it. Thank you, Rod. Why would he come here of all places and brag about defeating the dragon? I made them and I made some more and nobody thanks me. I sell them and I sell some more and I made no profit. I might as well quit. That's sad. I'll buy some stuff. Heat blade. That sounds good. Longbow. Should I even buy stuff? For oh, it's not expensive. Arm it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yes. Yes, I want to be armed with it. Confirmed. Yes. Yes. Confirmed. <clears throat> Okay. Good. Very good. I appreciate that, that they let you equip from the uh, purchase menu. Hey, Mermaid. Thanks for tuning in. I am feeling a lot better. Thanks for being here. How are you? How have you been? Morton, I think a lot of people feel the same way as what you just said. With all the games that they are remaking these days, I'm surprised that this gem did not get one yet. Before the launch of the PlayStation 5 last year, um, there were rumors that Bluepoint was remastering or remaking something, right? That ended up being Demon's Souls remake. But I, please correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Before it was revealed to be Demon's Souls, were people hoping that Bluepoint would be making this Legend of Dragoon remake? Was, was this... What people were thinking they were making? Heat Blade has a fire base attack. Yeah, that's what the description said. Yeah, it looks like Zoller's is um, feeling the same thing. So these are like the back alleys, huh? My god, I lost the key to my home! I think the back entrance is open, but I don't want to be stuck there. What? Kage, I'm doing all right playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance at the moment. Chilling like a villain. Except you're playing the hero, right? 
Which one? Are you playing... Is it Ultimate Alliance 3 that was on Switch, or are you playing an old, one of the older ones? Morton, I think that's what the rumor was back then. I think so, too. That would be sweet, because Bluepoint knows how to uh, remake a game. It's locked. We cannot go in from this door. Is this the home? I'm playing the first one right now. Oh, nice. Sounds good. Sounds chill. Uh, he lost his key. So I'm wondering if the key is just on the ground somewhere. But he said that the back entrance is open. Curious. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nothing. I don't believe there's anything in here for me. I cannot open this door. Okay. There is nothing. There is nothing else here. Okay. You have something to say to me? Huh? Tut. Ruddy bastards. That's rude. You don't wander around. That's all I'm doing. Hmm. Huh? I don't think breaking through them from the front gate will work. Let's do some more research. We may find a good way to sneak in. Okay. Well, the war will end soon. The war will end soon with the Imperial Sandora's victory. Extra, extra, extra! The entire force of the Imperial Knighthood occupies Bale! Under the ground over there is a fort. Of course, it was used as a fort a long time ago. It was a long time ago that the ground under there was used as a fort. Now, there are temporary houses for those of us who lost their theirs during the war. I do need to finish the Switch one, though, for sure. I played it when it came out, and I think I finished it, but I never went back to, like, do all the extra stuff, I think. Oh, we're going. We're going down. Previously a fort, now temporary housing for those who lost their homes. When we came here, this fort was abandoned and it was a mess. We cleaned up the messy fort and made it livable. The war is going on and on and we are short of medicine. I wonder how long we will have to endure it. How long we will have to endure this. We are short of medicine so that even not so that even not so severe illness, illnesses can be fatal. I was born here, but it has been almost eight years since then. I've never been in a world with peace, a world without war. <laughs> Dude, he's eight years old and he's saying stuff like that. War. War never changes. Hmm, the new Sergio party. I want to join too, but what should I do? Hmm, the new Sergio party. It looks very unfinished because it used to be a fort, but it is very durable. There are too many stairs for me, though. Whoa. Why do you want stairs? The war doesn't produce anything. It just spreads death for naught. We have to end the war as soon as possible, but I don't have that kind of power now. When we don't have anything to eat, we go outside the city and pick edible plants. Although being outside is dangerous. Go. Have you checked out Back for Blood at all? I did. I got access to the early access beta. And then I played like just a little bit. I'm trapped. Lady. Oh, God. 
yeah, I um I checked it out and it was pretty cool. I didn't play enough to like really dive deep into the systems, like the card system and everything, but just enough to get a feel for the game and I was glad that it felt familiar. What about you? Um I'm I'm guessing you also got to check it out. How did you feel about it? Hey Grand Blitz, thank you for the well wishes. I'm I feel good. Good to be back. Not a hundred percent, but I've got my tea. By the way, let's take a sip of the tea right now. How have you been, Grand Blitz? I hope you've been well. Playing any games lately? Again, some green tea with some honey. Right, there's a different exit over here. I'm guessing it links to that other door. It does. Oh, was that the only way down? Okay. It's between you and me. Don't tell other people. Listen, actually, there is something called a griping room in the city. Yes, I've seen it. Okay. I'm guessing that's going to be important. Did King Albert really get caught? Another inn? Yeah, I played it quite a bit, actually. I've run through all the levels three times with different groups of friends. We really enjoyed it. Oh, that's awesome. That's sweet. One Stardust missing. Okay, I'll head back outside right after this and then backtrack a bit. <clears throat> Item shop. Dark Mist. Fatal Blizzard. That sounds intense. I'm good. true that Bale is under occupation? Does this country belong to Dole now? Once you give up your hope, you are finished. Even if just a little remains, as long as there is some hope, you'll never give up. Whoa. Oh, is that like a, a healing place? Don't tell the soldiers. Okay. What do we got? Fake power wrist, fake shield. I'm good. Walk away. Uh -uh. These NPCs keep blocking me. I'm checking. I'm checking. Any stuff. Oh, wow. Stardust! Stardust in here. Is there Stardust behind me that I missed then, Rod? Grand Blitz, I'm doing fine. My car isn't, lol. I'm playing Demon Souls Remake. Sweet. Oh, that's... Oh, thank you so much for the host, Dukage. Here you go. Mini dance party. Thank you very much. Um, that's right. Congratulations, Grand Blitz. You just got a PS5, right? So you, now you're going through Demon Souls Remake. Uh, just beat the Maneaters. What a bad boss fight full of jank. Dude, it's Souls jank. That's just how it is, I guess. I don't remember it being so janky in the original, but it must have been. How, um, how are you building your character right now in, in, um, in Demon Souls, Grand Blitz? And Corey C's here. How's it going, Corey C? How are you doing tonight? Hope you had a good weekend. I've missed... An item in a previous room, so let's look around. Rod says it was in a bookshelf. Let's see. Ah, okay, yeah. Here we go. I did not check that bookshelf. Thank you very much, Rod. Appreciate it. How many have we gotten now? Feels like maybe four? Let's check. No, we've gotten five. What? And there's another one right where you got the last one? What? As in back in this room? Because other than that bookshelf one, I just got one like right here. Are you saying there's another one in this room? Got it. Oh, is that it? Is that all six then? Dang. 
Sweet. Thank you, Rod. Appreciate it. We have to help each other to live, and this com concept is the basis for the new Sergio party. Why don't you re rely on us when you are in trouble? All right. Oh. What is this? Welcome to the ruins of the underground fortress. You guys look like new faces. You want to join the new Sergio party, don't you? I want to let you in, but I need to ask you three questions. I have to check you out. First question. Which country do you want to win? Basil or Sandora? <clears throat> um, Basil? That's the kingdom of Basil. Sorry. But I cannot let you in. That's it. Game over. No, it's super janky. It actually glitched up because they fall off the bridge and didn't fly back up. What? Both of them? I actually might upload that to YouTube. If you do, please share that on our Discord. I'm doing a strength build with high stamina. That's sweet. Two-handed weapons? Right, let's try this again. I cannot say which. I cannot say which. The important thing is to end the war as soon as possible. Not winning or losing. I think so too. Always hate or spite remains after the fight, regardless of whether you win or not. The second question. During the war, what should powerless kids like us do? This is a kid? I gave him the wrong voice. Dang. Dude. Take care at home. We cannot send kids to battle, but somebody has to take care so that the people fighting have some place to come back to. I agree. There are some things we too can do. The last question. Why do people have to fight? <coughs> I don't know. It feels like it's been the third option every time. Let me get another cough drop. I don't know. Is it is it the third one every time? I feel like to protect something. But at the same time, it seems like everyone's kind of cynical about it. So I'm guessing the third one might be correct. Hey, Daft Bull. Thank you for the well wishes and for the welcome back. I'm feeling a lot better, ready to play. Still have a little bit of a cough. So I'm like muting the mic whenever I have to clear my throat. But how have you been? I'm going to go with the third one just because it's been the third one every time. War. Mm. Maybe people are fighting to destroy something after all. Dude! This freaking kid. You've been getting into Final Fantasy XIV. That is sweet. That is exciting to hear. Um, for the first time, is it your first time playing? Tell us about what race and class you're playing as and how you're enjoying it so far um i played 14 when a realm reborn came out in 2013 2014 i played it pretty heavily for about a year straight then i had to quit and then ever since then every year or so i try to get back into it but i just don't have the free time currently i'm trying to find the free time to get back into it but yeah First time, sweet. I'm Lancer, but I want to switch to Dark Knight and Gunbreaker as soon as possible. Nice. Genesis just finished Titan last night. Dude, you're making great progress then. That's right. That's great. Last save point. I've nearly resubbed twice today. Last save point. What server are you on? What server are you on? <clears throat> I'm barely like into um, Stormblood, so I'm not super far. Let's try this again. Okay, take care at home. Wow. 
to protect something. Please. If war is to obtain or destroy something, it'll throw. I'll throw my sword away. I only fight to protect something. I think so too. People should only fight to protect something. I'm the horned race. I think is that the Al Ra? And you're on primal. Gotcha. Oh, I just got to Stormblood last time. I had free time to play. I'm on Genova. Sweet. Last save point. What uh, what class were you playing? I'm sorry if I'm fe I'm sorry if I'm feeding into your um desire to get back into it, but I'm I'm trying to find time to play it. I really want to play it. You had a good grandpa, but you are. I am Popo. I am a representative of the new Sergio party. I am campaigning to help people who are having hard times because of the war. It is amazing. I heard about the party, but I didn't think the representative would be this young. Oh, you. Did we meet somewhere? We've never met before, but you might know my face. I am Albert, the King of Basil. I actually just started playing Final Fantasy XIV today. Oh my god, guys. If everyone's playing Final Fantasy XIV, please share your experience on our Discord in the Final Fantasy XIV channel. I'm debating starting a new character. Because just so you guys know, back when I played it in 2013, 2014, I did not pay attention to the story. So I want to start over and just, for lore reasons, pay attention to the story, you know? But who knows? That's a lot of time. Oh my god, you... You, you are King Albert? Yeah, Deathpool. Try not to get spoiled about any of the story stuff. Experience it for yourself. It's a special game. Dude, I know the struggle. I don't have enough time. It feels like I'm a scholar slash summoner. Love support roles for MMOs. Nice. I... Back when I was really active, I was playing both Paladin and White Mage, so I enjoyed tanking and healing. But um, lately I've been playing Dancer. Addiction Friction, a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the Dragoon experience so far? 10! Um, I had set my expectations for what kind of game this would be when we started, and it's constantly exceeded it. Archong with the resub! Thank you so much! How are you doing, Archong? And thank you for the well wishes. I am feeling a lot better. And even better now that you're here. How are you? But yeah, Addiction Friction, I set my expectations at about a 7 for the game. I know that it was beloved, but it wasn't necessarily super highly critically acclaimed. But I'm enjoying the gameplay and I'm enjoying the story. And here we are. I am tired as usual. Hey, Archong, it's all good. It happens. But pretty much like every day for you, right? Yeah, I haven't been able to sleep because of my cold this last week, so... Yeah, I'm happy to get some sleep now. Uh, the day King Albert liberates Kazus and set us free. That's what we are here for. We will end the war now. Now? We're going to end the war now on disc one? But I don't think these few people can break through the defenses of the Black Castle. Don't worry, we can do it. We can't tell you how, though. They say that the power of once was the card that... They say that the power was... The power once was the card that liberated humans from Winglies. Now, it is the ace to open up our own fate. Ah, it's like a dream. Now I can go look for my father and mother when the war ends. This game is highly acclaimed in Addiction Friction's almanac of RPGs. Dude, sweet. Death well, they need to put this on Steam and Chrono Cross. Audrey might play Chrono Cross soonish. So that might be happen on our stream as well. Don't waste time babysitting like that. Why don't you think about how to get into the castle? I I am just a kid, but I can show you how to get in the castle. Can you? Yes, this place used to be a fortress, so there is a secret path to get into the black castle. Secret path? Now we are closer to Dole. Come with me now. Please wait. If we fail, it'll be too risky for you. 
we will come back after we prepare. I got it. I'll be waiting at the secret path. Please hurry up. Okay. Uh, let's just go back first to see if we missed anything. Whoa. Where the heck are we? Rod, I think we have all of the... Um, the uh, Stardust, right? I checked out all the shops. I went to the inn. I think there's like nowhere else to go, right? We're good for now. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate appreciate you helping out. I don't know if I talked to that one NPC outside. Just want to make sure I went everywhere. Oh, I did talk to this person. Oh, that's it. All right, we're ready to proceed then. not super optimistic about what we're about to do. Don't you ever have that feeling, you know, when you're watching a movie or a show or whatever and like the characters are optimistic about their plan. They're about to face off against some big beast or the main enemy. And you're like, wait a second. We're only halfway through the season. Wait a second, there's still like 10 more episodes. Wait a second, we're still on disc one. No way this is going to work out. It's such a crappy thought to have to have, you know? But you can't help it. Throwing red flags everywhere, seriously. Are you ready to go into the Black Castle? Yeah, I guess so. Everyone looks so cool. Yeah, we are ready. The only thing left is to make it to the Black Castle. I almost gave up when I heard Bale was taken. I thought all my campaigning was in vain. But I found out you are alive, Your Majesty. And we can still fight. I now see the future. Good luck. Yes, we will defeat Dole and end the war. To prevent a rep repetition of the sorrow of you and Celeste. Celeste. I guess it'll be serious for the first time in a while. For the people who desire peace, I'll fight. I'm going ahead, dude, bros. Hey, Clark, what's up? Did you finish Final Fantasy X? No, we did not. If you check our schedule down below, Audrey and I will be continuing our playthrough of Final Fantasy X. I think on Wednesday. Someone please confirm for me. I think it's on Wednesday our schedule for this week. But Clark, just so you know, our channel is um, is shared between me, Anthony, and my wife, Audrey. So we have the Anthony solo streams, we have the Audrey solo streams, and then we have the together streams where we, we stream together. So on the Anthony solo streams, we're playing through The Legend of Dragoon. And then for Audrey's streams, she's playing Final Fantasy VII Remake right now. And then the te together streams are Final Fantasy X. So a lot of Final Fantasy happening. Yes, it says Wednesday. Awesome. Thank you for checking that for me. And thank you for tuning back in. How are you doing tonight? Did you have a good weekend? R Rose. And do you have any experience with this? Final, um, the Legend of Dragoon? Let me get another sip of tea real quick. I'm guessing this is going to be like a dungeon, right? On the way to uh, Black Castle. Oh, I'm guessing I can jump down those. <clears throat> no. Uh-oh. I want to get all the things. All right, I see an item over there. $20. 
20G. Hmm. I guess this is a secret passage. So maybe there's no enemies here? The triangle hasn't changed color, so I'm guessing there's no, no there's no enemies here. Which is nice. I'm trying to determine which is the main path. Dead end? Dead end. Okay, great. this? Nothing? Nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> Oops. No. No! Alright, that wasn't too crazy. The room looks cool, though. Yeah, this map's cool. Secret, secret tunnel. Now we're talking. Now there's enemies. Persistent danger. All right, let's just fight. <laughs> So we have Hashel in the party right now. I feel like I haven't really used him, so I don't know his timings. Hey, Big Dingy, happy Sunday. How was your weekend, Big Dingy? It's good to have you here. Double punch. Double punch. Did it, goes the wind dance. You got Albert now? I do have Albert now. <laughs> I always laughed at how fast they were like Lavitz Who in this game. Dude, it was pretty uh it's pretty sad. I like Lavitz a lot. I pretty much just have Hashel in the party right now to level up his additions. Final burst. New magic. Stu Kage with the resub. Twitch Prime sub. That's sweet. Thank you so much, Stu Kage. I really appreciate it. You know, Stu Kage, I, I think back on when you first joined us. What were we playing? Was that back when we were playing? No way. It was before we were playing Pokemon Snap, right? But when you showed up, and I was like, I was like half jokingly like, oh, is it pronounced Stu Kage? Like a Naruto reference? And you were like, yes, that blew my mind. Because I always see like the word cage, and I always say like Kage instead as a joke. But this time it was correct. <laughs> and that's such. It's such a fun memory. I appreciate you resubbing and hanging out with us. I like the background in this area for, for the battles. Yes. A miss, dude. Straight for the neck. That's pretty brutal. Wow. Got it. Gust of wind dance. I'm getting it. It's a ton of damage. Alright, the enemies are hitting hard now. <clears throat> Yes. 
Grand Blitz, this is where I left off in my new game plus playthrough. I was thinking about playing this game this again and hook up the old PS2. I loaded up an old save to practice additions, but then the PS5 had Whoa! <clears throat> As in like you managed to get that order in? Yeah, how soon did it um arrive after you managed to get the order, right? I'm guessing pretty quick, right? Probably just a week. I mean, just fight the enemies. I, I, I kind of want to get some fights in right now, you know? What an attack animation for that hellhound. It just latches onto your neck and fully swings left and right. Kind of intense. <clears throat> I feel pretty good about the timings today. Yeah, I ordered it last week on Tuesday and got it the following Saturday. That's pretty quick. Dang, whiffed it on the last one. I jinxed it. Grand Blitz, are you able to enjoy the full 4K HDR experience? Do you have a 4K capable and HDR television to enjoy Demon Souls in that way? Or is that a uh, eventual future planned upgrade? <clears throat> I got another PS5 the other day, just trying to help a friend get it. It's not coming until October 2nd. That's sweet. It's very kind of you. I kind of did the same thing. I managed to get a PS5 at launch from one of the um, big retailers in the area. And then a couple weeks ago, when PlayStation Direct has sent out invites, you know how they every couple weeks or every couple months Nintendo, or not Nintendo, PlayStation themselves, sends out invitations to online order directly from them. I got an invitation this time, and even though I already had a PS5, I asked my friends, I was like, who's still looking for one? And so I used my invitation and I got one for a friend, so yeah. Yes, I actually bought a 4K HDR TV the same week and got this past Monday. Sweet. Are you, uh, are you loving it? Gust of wind, dance! Uh, this will kill it, right? Yes. Actually, Grand Blitz, that's pretty sweet. Upgrading to a PS5 and getting the 4K HDR TV all in one go must have been like... This magical upgrade. What the hell? That was huge! Yes. It threw me off. Now I'm missing my additions. Yes. And then I missed! Oh no. Okay, just kill it. Alright, I'm gonna need to disable an enemy and then um, a couple turns to guard. Albert has very low magic defense. Ooh, okay.
Whoa, this place looks cool. Imminent danger. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hashel has the manliest profile pic, but his voice is so high pitched. Yeah, I gave him like a deep voice when I first met him. But I don't know how to change that now. Is this the front gate? It is, huh? Okay. Just curious. Just curious. We'll fight him. Yeah, it's such a huge jump. My old TV was nine years old. I'm keeping it. It has all the gaming hookups. Great idea. I could hook up any of my old consoles to it. Yeah, it's a good idea to keep that. Assuming you have the space, you know. Um, let's try to take one out and then we'll disable the other and guard for everyone. Ha, ha, punch. But I cannot whiff my additions right now. I applied a status effect to that enemy. I don't know what it was. Whiffed it. Dang it. I gotta pay attention. Oh, did the status effect leave? Haha, <laughs> I was guarding. Actually, forget it, right? Do I need to use the item? Just guard. Ah! And he missed. <laughs> I can't remember what you were playing, to be honest. Need to go back and look. Thank you for the kind words. It has been a blast streaming and having you here in, ha in chat. Thank you, Stukage, for the kind words. Let's try to land. Let's land this. This is for you, Stukage. Let's try to land this. Oh, wait, no. I thought we were on Albert. This, this next gust of wind dance is for you, Stukage. I whiffed it. I'm sorry. Okay, the next one. The next gust of wind dance is for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I put so much pressure on that one for no reason. <laughs> All right. I kind of want to go up here first. Oh, okay, maybe this is the main way. Whoa, what a strange perspective. Am I under now? Okay, that was weird. Oh, okay. They just... I'm clearly not supposed to be here. These guys won't chase me any further than that. I don't see the leashes on them. What is going on? Okay. I'll do that guy's job. Just walk back and forth for sure. 
Hopefully the pay is good. I mean, that's the second question, right? I did something like that in a basketball game. Don't feel bad. Yeah. You just add this pressure for no reason. Basketball or baseball? B-ball. You are? <clears throat> Green flame researcher. Are you here to see my research? Basketball. Gotcha. Or... Is a taller one? To visit me. Either way, we are pleased. We like it when mercenaries like you have an interest in our research. Indeed. Recently, barbaric suicidal attacks have become common. But if our research is successful, it will reduce the casualties of war. For example, that white flame... has a healing power. And that green flame isn't, ex isn't extinguished by water. When we put it to practical use, it will provide an advantage in war. But I've never seen such technologies. It's like, like magic. You don't need to know about that. There are already enough of us involved in this accursed research. Yes, your job is to fight. There are too many things we don't know about this power. If you get involved in if you get involved too much, you might end up like Mr. Magi. It's too late for that guy. We have to complete this research before it is too late for Sandora. I see. I will end the war. But can we ask you a little more? For example, what kind of function does this purple flame serve? This flame is the power source of the castle. The purple flame drives the elevators and lifts. It helps people's lives. That's the proper way of usage. But the war decides the usage now. Yes, even if this technology could be used for the happiness of the people, once it is used wrongly, it may bring unhappiness. But we are making... What we are making may bring unhappiness to the people in Basil. I agree. This research is, after all, based on the calamity caused by the dragon. War creates catastrophe. It's a sad thing for both the people and the dragon. The dragon? The dragon is, disvol is involved in this research? Oh, I slipped my tongue. Forget what I said. Now, back to the research. Let me give you some magic oil. This is the fuel for the purple flame. It gives you mobility. I got some magic oil. If you want to be healed, come visit me anytime. Thank you very much. It was very useful. Alright. Very sketchy. Can be healed. Are you using the magic oil? You can light the purple flame with it. Hmm. This feels like the main way forward, so I feel like exploring the other paths first. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Then again, yeah, let's fight these dudes. Find out what's over here. These guys are kind of beefy, huh? I feel like Volcano should do more damage than that. Oh, is it because of my fire sword? That's why, huh? Dang. I just realized. So it's doing half as much damage on these dudes because they're fire. I whiffed it. Okay, the next one's for you, Stukat. Yes. 
Yeah, Dart Sword is fire, and these enemies are fire elements. Okay, here we go, Stu Dagger. Gust of wind, dance! That's for you. A ton of damage, too. This is pretty sweet. Now, I'm a little worried that this is the main path. Oh, I simply cannot use it. Do I need to... Okay, I'm guessing those are elevators then. Okay. All right. Gotta power the elevators, but then I want to check whatever this door is. Oh. Oh, oh I get it now. Yeah. Uh-oh, don't want to be here yet. Do not want to be here yet. <clears throat> Looks sketchy. Go there. <laughs> so when they gave me the magic oil, I thought it was to light whatever this is. I didn't realize that each elevator had a thing like this. But Rod is saying go there. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. So what the hell is that? Is that a dragon that they're sucking the energy out of? Nobody can become happy without making somebody else unhappy. That is the universal truth. Too sad. We are just studying the principles of magic of Emperor Dole. I don't want to have people feel there is a crisis, so please do not tell anybody what you have seen or heard in here. Oh, we're going down. Are you sure, Rod? I didn't check those other areas. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Cannot carry any more items. Love it. Let's discard some items. Wait, I have to go to discard, huh? What do I get rid of even? I mean, I should be using them, right? Yeah, what? I just saw those boulders. I'm guessing it was like a timing thing. Yeah, that bridge is playing Tetris and it cleared the line, yeah. And I'm just standing there like, what? Ew, it looks like teeth, dude. Is this just all like biomass? Hey, this is pretty gross. What kind of research is going on here? Oh. We just got a host from the Beer Jesus. Thank you so much. Here, it's your mini dance party. Oh, wrong. Where's the thing? Here you go. Thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. Oh, okay, I see. I see. It's a timing thing. Red stone. Oh. oh, it's dangerous that you cannot come in. Although I give you credit for making it through. I only have garbage. Make yourself at home. Okay. Let's. What did we get? What was that item? Red stone. Oh, all right. And we get a follow from the beer Jesus. Thank you so much. Here's a mini dance party for you. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, 
Okay, so I guess we finished this area. Thank you, Rod. So I think there's two elevators out here I need to play around with. Yes. I'll try this one first. Right into the guard here. Okay, cool. Whew. Um let's do that first. Yes. Go. Volcano. I feel like overall I'm doing pretty well with additions today. Devil punch. Let's check to see if um Ashel is leveled up. I whiffed it right at the end. At least it's still a ton of damage. Oh, you're making a mod. You're making a mod for the Legend of Dragoon? Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do you make, um, do you do a lot of like custom mods for games in general? That's pretty cool to hear. Uh, let's check to see if Ashel's additions have leveled up. That's awesome. That sounds like a really fun, uh, fun thing to do. No, five more and then I'll switch to Flurry of Sticks. Whoa. Wow, this place is pretty creepy. Huh? Let's um let's get another cough drop going. You, who are you? I know. You are thieves who've come to steal my magic. You're replacing all of Albert's dialogue. Whoa. All right, I'm guessing you must be intimately familiar with the game. Just for some context, this is my first playthrough. I don't know anything about the story, so... You're replacing all of his dialogue with dialogue that makes it seem like he's possessed by Boomhauer from King of the Hill. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Wait, we are... No excuse. Watch out. We don't know what he'll do. Let him. It seems interesting. Take this. The steel shearing vacuum blade. Why? Why doesn't the magic work? Why doesn't it shear them? It's worse than I thought. That was still under research. I'll show you this. Take the rock crushing thunder arrow. I see. You are the researcher who is too late, aren't you? Then, Mr. Magi is... Hmm. Those dumb researchers of trashy stuff said something to you, didn't they? Leave us alone. We are not here to criticize your research. Shut up. I have already made the discovery. The secret of a magic that those losers could never even hope to know. The magic of transformation can only be known by someone like myself, who completely understands the magical power of dragons. I'll show it to you now. Cerberus, emerge! It seems real this time. Oh, here we go. Oh! Alright, that didn't work out like he planned. I wonder... 
Is this dog Mr. Magi? Flurry of Sticks is one of my favorite additions. It's simple and easy, but I just like the final hit. Well, I'm getting it soon. I guess it requires more research to be controlled by humans. But at least in the end, he amused us. Rose. Always looking on the bright side. Mr. Magi. Blue stone. Okay, okay. We got a red stone and a blue stone. Uh, now he's blocking me. There we go. I'm guessing these are items necessary in in order to um progress. I wonder if he's called Magi, Magi because he's not that good enough to do magic. Yeah, I wonder if that is like uh, what he calls himself or other people just call him that. He's just now called a good boy, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, let's go the other way. It's all good, Morton. <laughs> I appreciate it. I was like gearing up for a boss fight there. Whoa. Oh, okay, so a big loop. <clears throat> Nothing in here. Um. Beast Fang. Don't I already have that? Wow. Item shop. Nope. The boss fake out was great. Yeah, I was like getting ready. <clears throat> I don't think I missed anything, right? Let's check this room again. Oh, yes, right up the middle. Then I'll check this side first. Oh. Alright, let's fight. Invaders! You had such good luck sneaking into the practice center, didn't you? Catch him! This is gonna be three fights. I'm tempted to just guard by everyone with everyone else so I can get Heschel. Um, his addition's leveled up. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Let's do that. Oh, and then I whip it. Wow. I was thinking I don't remember a boss being here and named Cerberus. Yeah, a fake out was good. Took him out. I think I still need a couple more before Hashel's ready. Uh, these guys are unbelievable. Don't think we are Knights of Sandora. So just defeat them. And that was just Hashel by himself. Ha, ha, devil punch. I think just two more, and then he's ready. Come on, Hashel. Good, one more. What is that status effect? The blue, stunned, okay, so it tells me now, stunned. That's sweet. 
I wonder, does Hashel's weapon have a chance to stun? Did I forget that from the description or something? Or is it, um... Is it this addition? Is it double punch specifically? I wonder. Ah, <laughs> uh, am I the last one? But I won't give up. I'm correct. Possibility of the sun. Gotcha. Roderick, there's something I want you. I want to try. When you get the yellow stone, I would like you to go back to the room where I found where you found the blue stone. There are some potions over a shelf with those three colors. Maybe there is something to do with those stones, or maybe not. Just curious. I would love to do that. I did notice those potions, but they didn't do anything when I interacted with them. So I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Rod. I can't remember, but I think because he uses fists, each of his hits have a chance to stun. It must be his weapon. Okay, let's check the, the weapon yes. description. Go. It might be the beast thing that he's Volcano. using. I'm trying to remember. It's been a few weeks, guys, since I played last, so maybe I'm forgetting. Yeah. Dang it, I always whiff on the last one. Because the last one is a little bit delayed. Compared to the two prior, it's like bat bat bat. Let's check. Yes, the beast fangs has a stun chance. Rod, thank you. Oh, we took care of that. Oops. What did I just do? Yeah, stuns enemy with a given probability. There you go. Thank you guys. Hey, Sammy Chance. Thanks for tuning in. It's going very well. Um, this is my fifth stream of this game so far, um, and I'm enjoying it. It's a game from the year 2000 on PlayStation 1 that I knew about at the time, but I just never got around to playing it, and I'm enjoying it right now. And there's a lot of uh, wonderful people in chat who are experienced with the game who are just helping me along with uh, vague hints and nudges in the right direction, and just generally helping to enhance my enjoyment of the game. How are you doing tonight? How was your weekend? Oh yeah, we need to change change Hashel's addition. I think we've leveled it up. Double Punch is now level two. Let's change it to Flurry of Sticks. I love this game. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, did you play it back in the day when it came out or more recently maybe? Did I take this elevator? It didn't get the love that it should have. And I think a lot of people felt that way. People have tuned into chat to tell me that same thing. And at the beginning we were kind of theorizing because what? So this came out 2000. This was towards the end of the PlayStation 1's life. So the PlayStation 2 was already on the horizon. So despite this game looking so impressive, people began to have a new frame of reference in mind, think, seeing the trailers for the PlayStation 2 games and what they could potentially look at look like. So I don't know, maybe it was overshadowed by the launch of the PlayStation 2. So yeah. Blur Cyrus, I'm just as blind as Anthony is. I only saw my big bro play this game when I was uh, below 10. Dude, well, I'm glad you're here hanging out, Blur Cyrus. Back in the day, you played Prince Leo with the raid. Thank you so much. Here is your mini dance party. Feel free to join in, everyone. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Sammy Chance, I'm old school. Dude, cool. What other RPGs do you like? Um, and are you playing any cool games right now? Morton probably didn't help that Final Fantasy IX came out the same year. That's right. Final Fantasy, right? Already like a huge established name at the time, for sure. Uh, you are here. The girl from Celeste. You said the girl from Celeste? 
You, you took me away to Helena. The trailer for this game made it look silly too. Oh, silly. Grand Blitz, I'm gonna need to see what trailer you're talking about. Huh. Prince Leo, appreciate it, man. I'm really just an amateur streamer, two weeks old, but glad you're playing a real classic. Hey, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. What were you playing before the raid? What, what games do you enjoy? Uh, what games have you been streaming? And, uh, you know, what's your general experience with The Legend of Dragoon? I said it, but this is my first time playing it. <laughs> well, it doesn't really help that Rose's Dragoon attack is like super menstruation. <laughs> I'll have to keep that new frame of reference in mind next time I use it. Oh my god. I was playing a Plague Tale. That's a game I need to check out, dude. They just put it on PlayStation Plus for the... For PlayStation Plus users, right? For um, people who are subscribed. I gotta check it out. Indeed. I am the one who assaulted Celeste under the orders of Emperor Dole. So, you killed everybody! That was done by the brutal unit loyal to Frugal. I wouldn't let them kill unnecessarily if I were there. My stream so far consists of Resident Evil 2, Mega Man, Mega Man X, Final Fantasy 7, Re 7 Remake. Oh, that's sweet. I'll have to check out your channel. Thank you for the raid and thank you for hanging out. I mid a replay of Final Fantasy X and Cyrus Sword. Oh, that's sweet. Sammy Chan. So yeah, this channel, my name's Anthony, but the other half of my channel is my wife, Audrey. Uh, we both stream separately and we stream together. Thank you for the follow, Sammy Chan. Um, and for our together streams, Audrey and I are actually playing through Final Fantasy X as well. And that's been pretty fun. Anyway, it doesn't change the fact that I'm Imperial Sandora... That Imperial Sandora scorched Celeste. If you want revenge for your home, you can draw your sword against me. But please, do me one last favor. His Majesty Dole changed after a man called Lloyd showed up. Classic Lloyd. He must have instilled something into Emperor Dole, a demonic word that ignites his desire to vanquish. You were able to make it here, so you might be able to do it. I beg you, wake Emperor Dole up! Do you understand what will result? Sorry, I meant commercial, not trailer. I believe you then. The commercials for video games back in the day don't really hold up, do they? I did play Legend of Dragoon a while back. Even then, when I finished it, I was considered late. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, better late than never, right? Here we are. <laughs> yes. If you can accomplish that, the Imperial Sandora's dominance will end. And even and we even might be defeated by Basil. But the result will be the same if the current oppression of Emperor Dole continues. And we got the follow from Prince Leo. Thank you so much. Here's your mini dance party. <laughs> Running out of dance moves. Thank you, guys. So we might as well make it happen faster and remove the hardships on our people. Lloyd is not a very menacing name. <laughs> there was a man like this in Sandora. Lavitz would be happy to hear this. So, are you win? That's what we are here for. I'm relieved to hear that. Now, take this with you. Yellowstone, okay, we got it. Rod, we got it. What is this? It's the key to the chamber of Emperor Dole. Hurry up. We have no time. All right. Well, what is over there? All right, this is what was Rod was talking about. We have acquired the blue. Well, we got the red, the blue, and the yellow stone. But before we proceed forward, we want to take a peek at... Um, we want to go back. So I don't want to go this way yet. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with playing games later. There's just way too many made and we can't play everything all at once. For sure, dude. Play what you want to play, you know? What? Okay, okay. We're heading back. We're heading back to uh, Mr. Magi's room. Because of these suspicious 
Where did we come from, actually? The suspicious, suspicious potions on the bookshelf. We just want to see if that's even anything. Where was he? He was this way, I believe. Yeah, Sammy is right. There's there's a ton of... I mean, there are plenty of older games that it's hard to find and play now, but... There's, there's so many games to play. Okay, Rod. Unfortunately, interacting with these potions on this bookshelf seems to have nothing to do with the stones that we've acquired. Let's confirm that I have them. The red, blue, and yellow stones. Is this just, Rod, is this just something you've always been curious about? Yellow stone, blue stone, red stone. Can't interact with them here. And then these potions have nothing to do. So it's just a coincidence. All right, now we know. Mmm, yeah, Prince Leo. Unfortunately, the Nintendo Switch Online um, um, games that they give you access to are limited to just Super Nintendo and original Nintendo games. No Nintendo 64 yet. Yet. Maybe one day. And no problem, Rod. But there are a few ways to play Ocarina of Time, which is a great game. What, you can play it on the original Nintendo 64. There's a version of it that you can play on the GameCube. If you have a Wii U, you can purchase the virtual console version and play it on that. There's also Ocarina of Time 3D available on the um, Nintendo 3DS. Is that correct? Are those all the versions of Ocarina of Time? Yes, Sammy is also right. There is also the option, of course, that's totally up to you, no judgment, to emulate the game. My brother offered to let me borrow his Wii U. Dude, check it out. Yeah, the uh, the Wii U, if you go online on the shop, you can download di digital versions of plenty of old games. I think the Wii U's virtual console has um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, you can even get Wii games. I think you can get Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, Nintendo 64 games, and I think even some DS, Nintendo DS games. And those are all you can buy and play digitally on the Wii U's eShop, I believe. Yeah, and Rod, no problem. I was curious too. Sammy says, Oc Ocarina of Time is my favorite. I have a Navi tattoo. That's sweet. That's awesome. Johnny, C Johnny says, I didn't really enjoy Link to the Past, but I just played it for the first time this year. Probably would have been playing different. Probably would have been different playing it back in 1993. Several games I had. I am wondering if I would have felt differently about playing it 25 years later. Yeah, I wonder the same things. You know, games don't all age well, right? More than I like Majora's Mask more than Ocarina of Time. I've heard that a lot. I don't think you're weird at all. I think a lot of people who have played both prefer Majora's Mask. I unfortunately have never played Majora's Mask, and that's something that I've considered maybe streaming one day. Prince, looks like you've gone pretty far in Dragoon. Who's your favorite character so far? Um, I still enjoy the mystery surrounding Rose. However, I am not actually that far. I believe well, I am still on disc one of, I believe there's four discs in this game, so... I don't feel like I'm very far. Can Albert one-shot this hellhound? Let's try. Yeah, Morton, you're saying the 3D version on the 3DS. I've heard. I mean, I own them, but I haven't played them. But everyone says that the 3D versions of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on the 3DS are very good. 
And I've like dabbled a little bit since I own them and they seem great. Your favorite was Lavitz. Dude, I like Lavitz too. Oh, new move. I'm guessing I whiffed that. What is it called? Flurry of Sticks? That's why I like Lloyd. Hey. <laughs> I mean, for right now, I still really like Rose. But we'll see as that progresses. Continue to ask me that throughout these streams. Let me know if, uh... Yeah, ask me who my char favorite character is, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if that shifts over time. Oh, was there a typo there? Is it Flurry of Sticks, but in combat it says Fairy of Sticks? Grand Blitz, I did it. Flurry of Sticks, that was. What a buildup for that last hit. I do like that one. Let's check. Maybe I'm just reading it wrong. Yeah, it's a typo. Stop here. Confirmed. That's just in the game. Yeah, Flurry of Sticks. That's funny. Oh, okay. Is this like the enemy that was in Hoax? This game is one giant typo. That's what, that's what I love about it. Morn, I do agree with you. The localization for this game has not been anywhere near the love that Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 got. Well... Nine. Nine got really great localization, you know? I feel like this game could benefit from another modern localization pass. But I can tell that what's written there is interesting. And I, I, I enjoy it. TN with a raid! Thank you so much, TN. Welcome, everyone. Mini dance party for you all. Everyone, feel, feel free to join in. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. Tantian with the resub. Thank you so much. Here we go. Let's keep the dance party going. Everyone, what's up, Valborn? What's up, Centauri? Thank you. Battle theme dance party. How's everyone doing tonight? Thank you for joining me. We're in the middle of a battle in the Black Castle on disc one of The Legend of Dragoon. Sandor Elite. Uh, this is Darkness Element. That is pretty sweet, Grand Blitz. I really liked it. Oh, no. Glad it still does a ton of damage, though. Whoa, okay. Yes. Go. Volcano. <clears throat> okay, finally. He's doing a ton of damage. Got him. Got him. How's everyone doing tonight? TN, did you finish? Did you finish uh, 7 Remake tonight? Your Is this like your second playthrough on hard mode? Is that what's going on right now? Crush Dance. Finally, it was time for a new. Gushing Magma, do I want that? There we go. Yeah, Prince Leo, yeah. Tien is a beloved moderator and regular on our channel, and he is a huge, huge Final Fantasy VII fan. So if you want to see fun Final Fantasy VII stuff, check it out. Tien, I don't know if that's super weird for you, but maybe can you shout out Tien in chat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tien left you guys hanging at the end. 
Tien with the cliffhangers. Oh yeah, our command is full on just the word shit, the word shout out. But yeah, Valborn, if you want more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, Audrey is continuing Final Fantasy VII Remake tomorrow, her very first playthrough. So it's a different perspective from Tien's streams. Tien's very intimately familiar with the story. Audrey is not. It's brand new to her. There it is. There's the shout out. Thank you, Tien, for shouting out Tien. Crush Dance. Check this out. Four editions. Finally, Dart has a longer one. Yes, Valborn, that's right. You, I think I, you followed from uh, Tien shouting us out, right? Here you go. You were off. You were um. You did it while we were offline. But here's a mini dance por uh, dance party for Valborn's follow. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate it. I am hungering for a save point right now. I feel like we're getting to the end of this. And that makes me nervous. Oh, that's another elevator. Hey. This just goes down, right? I'm guessing. No problem, Valborn. Cannot carry any more items. <clears throat> um. It's just going to be the same, huh? Spinning Gale. What is that? Cyrus is everywhere. Cyrus, are you everywhere? I just know that you're here. Spinning Gale. There it is. Wind individual attack. Okay. Workers are saying all sorts of things, but I believe in Emperor Dole. I actually don't know what we are making, but this must be something to do with war. White flames, green flames, and purple flames, all are just made for the war. They are not something that can make us happy. Cannot carry any more items, come on. Prince Leo's asking, just curious, what are you playing this on? PS3? No. I am playing on the original hardware on my beloved PlayStation 1. And uh, yeah, original hardware. Magic is silly. It's just a tool for war, I believe it. Wait, no, I wanna talk to you later, guy. Okay. Of course Dole will use the, the magic for the war. I mean, do I care what that item is? Spirit Ring. You must be using what they call a splitter to stream this. A little bit more complicated, Prince Leo. I've actually modified this PlayStation 1 with a device, you can probably Google it, called PS1 Digital. And it is a board that you solder to the motherboard of the PlayStation 1 that adds an HDMI port to the back of the PlayStation 1 itself. So my PS1 now has an HDMI port and that's just like, other modern modern consoles connected to my capture card. Um, yeah, in this last year of the pandemic lockdowns and everything, I picked up the hobby of learning how to solder and doing a bunch of like modifications to old consoles like Game Boys, Game Boy Advances. I modded N64s, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, Super Nintendo, GameCube, I've just been modding all kinds of consoles, doing all kinds of fun stuff just as a hobby, and it's uh, pretty sweet. Mars, yeah, Anthony the Mod God. I'm not a professional hobbyist, but I take it very seriously, <laughs> and it's very fun. Um, it's a very expensive hobby, especially as a 
the cost of old game consoles and old games continues to rise. I need to clear space in my inventory. How are you doing tonight, Mars? Hope you had a good weekend. I need to discard. Oops. 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 There we go. What are the chances this is just another healing potion? You know what? This whole stream, NPCs have constantly been getting out of my way. Getting in my way. There we go. Spear Frost. Is that magic consumable? All right, Blair Cyrus. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks for the lurk. And TN redeemed a triple hydrate. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drink my nice tea. Dude, Mars, you already copied me and got the GDMU? It was a fairly simple and straightforward installation for the GDMU, right? No soldering, just a swap, right? Pretty straightforward. Is that... Have you done any console mods on that level before? I feel like that one's a pretty straightforward one. And um, did you have to do any troubleshooting or did everything just work exactly like you wanted it to? Dude, sweet. I'd love to talk to you about it sometime, Mars. Uh, you can check on my Discord. I posted pictures of my Dreamcast mods. I got a 3D printed thing that fills in the space that makes it look nice and neat. If you're interested in that, um, instead of just like the big old hole where the drive was, I can link you it. But yeah, pretty sweet. And we got a gift sub from TN. Valborn has a sub now. Congratulations. Here's your mini dance party. Thank you for your generosity, TN. Valborn, enjoy the emotes. Morton, I managed to get a physical copy of Final Fantasy IX at the beginning of the pandemic for 30 bucks a week later. It was 120 Yeah, especially the last couple years, the prices have gone up. But the pandemic just skyrocketed. Everything's crazy. Yeah, it was easy. I was impressed with how nicely organized the Dreamcast insides are. Yeah. Everything's nice and neatly partitioned and separated. It's pretty great. All right. I don't think there's anywhere else to go here. I'm not 100% sure where to go there. Up? Can I go up here? No. What? Gremlins? Oh, it's TN. TN has so far given 69 gift subs. So generous, TN. The most rigorous thing I've done is soldering a fuse into an SNES, I guess. That's pretty intense. Soldering is pretty intimidating, for sure. I feel much more comfortable with it lately, but it's definitely daunting. My goodness. I'm actually a little lost. Do I take that elevator down there? Elevator near the commander. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It was this way, huh? Was it the elevator that let me go up to the fourth floor? The practice area? All right, have a good day at the gym, Prince Leo. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll be happy to check out your channel as well. And congratulations for, you know, starting streaming. Hope you're having a ton of fun with it. And I appreciate the raid and for you hanging out a little bit and uh, reminiscing about video games with this. I really appreciate it. You have a great night. It's this one, right? No. Dude, there was another elevator that said, go to the fourth floor. Take again the other one. My bad, Rod. I'm probably, the delay is probably killing you, right? Just you telling me where to go and then I'm like going the wrong way. Yeah. <clears throat> You've all, you already have me interested in that PS1 mod though. Probably more convenient than using the PS3 plus splitter. 
Mars, honestly, I'm double dipping here. There's... In the pursuit of displaying your retro consoles, we'll just use retro loosely here, your retro consoles on modern displays, there's the route of using a scaling device, whereas in you connect your console to this device and then the device itself has HDMI out, or the, the other route is modifying the console itself to have an HDMI out, right? So the benefit of what I did with the PlayStation 1 with putting an HDMI in it is that I just, the PlayStation 1 is just, that's all I need. I plug that in my capture card, right? However, that mod is only, only for my PlayStation 1. If you plan to play a bunch of retro consoles on modern displays, it is more cost effective to go the other route and get a scaling device that'll work with multiple consoles. Um, those typically require a little bit more of fine tuning and playing with settings to make that particular console look great, but it is way more cost effective than doing an HDMI mod in every console you have, for sure. So I have to get a Frame Meister. Actually, no, there's a new player on the market, Mars. Google the RetroTink 5X. Just released this year. I managed to get one in the first batch and it has essentially every input that you would need and it's pretty straightforward and it's really good um the retrotink 5x it accepts composite s video component and scart and it outputs hdmi and it scales uh it's it's pretty advanced a little pricey but it's like an all-in-one thing Kessler with the raid. Thank you so much. You guys are getting me geeking out with this, this stuff. Thank you, Kessler, for the raid. I really appreciate it. Mini dance party. Feel free to join in. More yeah, it's got a it's got quite a price tag, but if you if you have a lot of old consoles and you want to play all of them on your modern display, this one thing will do it for you. It's very powerful. And the resub from Kessler so much. Continue the mini dance parties. Everyone, join in. Thank you, Kessler. How are you doing tonight? Thinking of getting some screens for my car and then attach a console to it. Dang. What? <laughs> Rock Chunk? I'm going to point out those things on the wall look like Batman. Which things on the wall? The pink things? Yeah, Mars. Um, if you want a good review on the RetroTink 5X, I highly recommend both the website and the YouTube channel RetroRGB. It's a very informative resource on these things. Their whole thing is retro consoles and how to make them sing on modern displays and stuff. So yeah, check it out. I think it's like right up your alley. You're playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Are you enjoying it going through the story? Okay. Um, it's this one, isn't it? Rod. There it is. Okay. We found it, Rod. Thank you. <clears throat> Father Faza. Oh, it's unusual to have guests at this time, but it is fine. Let me talk to you. The long war decays people's heart. It must have happened to you too. The bloodstained armor tells all. However, His Majesty Dole is also experiencing the fatigue of war. This statue of a goddess was created in memory of the late wife of Emperor Dole, Empress Karina. It shows the frailty and fondness of Emperor Dole. He, however, continues the war for his own ambitions with increasing scenes of carnage. It shows his strength and cruelness. Strength and frailty, fondness and cruelness. You must have them inside you because the human heart cannot, 
can envelop them all. Face up to your true self. Then you will become as strong as Emperor Dole. Whoa, who is this guy? Oh my god, holy crap. Audrey's here. She just, Ghost Audrey just ran by. This is all I want to say. You are, if you are lost, come visit me anytime. I'll help you find the way. Not actually, that's just actual Audrey, not Ghost Audrey. You wanna say hi? Oh, dude. So Audrey saw a friend had this, didn't know it existed. Did you guys, if you guys have a Wendy's, check this out. Can you see it? Wendy's has a ghost pepper ranch sauce. Hopefully Audrey can hang out with us in chat and give us a review of the sauce. Can you do that for us? Yeah, Audrey will join us in chat and give us a review of this ghost pepper ranch sauce from Wendy's. Wow. Oh, Grambliss clarifies. Yeah, the pink part is his skin when you have the white eyes and the cowl. Like, I did see the cowl shape, the eyes. It's locked. I wonder if there is some trick. Let's talk to him again. If you're lost, come visit me in town. Alright. It feels like serious mode right now. So I'm actually going to swap Rose back in. Because she's an actual dragoon. Save point. I've been hungry for the save point. Here we are. Again, I want to reiterate what I was feeling earlier. We're we're barging into the Black Castle. Where the main bad guy is, and our party's ambition is to end the war. Need I remind you, we are still on disc one. No way is this going to work out, right? Like I said. What, we still have 10 episodes left? No way, right? It's just that same feeling of it's not going to work out. That's where my mind is at. Skeptical. Three holes. What are they? They might be something to do with the statue of the goddess. Why do you think so? Rod, that's a good point. Yeah, seriously. I don't want to think like that, but that's just how it is. I mean, I could be surprised. This could be the end of the game, and the remaining three discs are behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> because, look. It seems this place is for admiring the statue. There must be something. Um, I have those stones. Oh. Oh. Okay. Morton with the legit I mean I mean that's that's what it is, right? It's a You're a hundred percent right, Morton, right? It could just be the end of Act One. Like a big climax for Act One. Morton says, or maybe the war isn't the big picture. Who knows? Yeah. To the characters, I mean, is what I mean. Like to the characters, this is the big picture. But I, yeah, it's totally going to be, oh, but the real bad guy is this. Embrelon, yeah, seriously, disc spoiling. That's how it is. And Rod, we are here to protect your first playthrough, and I really appreciate that. And I'm here to speculate out loud for your enjoyment so you can laugh at me when I'm wrong, right? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Embrelon. How are you tonight? Hope you had a good weekend. The door opened. <clears throat> Maybe there's a lot more to the war than you think. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's not going to end here. Right, let me pop another cough drop real quick. I always feel like Dart has no idea what he's doing half the time. Yeah, I mean, he still has a lot of unanswered questions. Or, I still have a lot of unanswered questions about Dart, so. There's still a lot to learn about everyone, pretty much. 
stay back. I smell blood in this air. It's not human. <laughs> is Kongle? Is that voice okay for Ashel? Quick review from Audrey. Wendy's ghost pepper ranch sauce is fairly weak in terms of spicy, but tasty. Could I handle it? Do you think I could handle the, uh... Audrey says maybe. Dart just wanted to kill the black monster. He did. Yeah, Rod, I appreciate it. Just enjoy my speculating. <laughs> Kongo. Kongo's back, and look at his armor. Gigantos don't lose twice. Gigantos make pay back for hoax. For his majesty, Dor. Kongo. Big hit. 72 with a regular attack. Okay. What was his element? Earth? So wind, right? So Albert's going to be particularly strong here. That big dumb dude? Yeah. I mean, voicing a character like this is funny. So that means Albert's um, weapon's gonna do a lot. A hundred damage! Oh, Rose is gonna use magic items. Okay, let's do that. Crush Dance, first time using Crush Dance. Oh my god. <clears throat> a lot of damage. Lot of damage. Um, okay, gust of wind dance. Pray for me. Was all of those sparkles everywhere because of the elemental weakness? Another hundred. Holy cow. Was all that sparkly? No! That's so rude. Okay. I don't want to use special because I would prefer to use special on Albert. But I could use special and then use her healing ability. Or I could just use healing potion on her right now. Let's use healing potion. I'm. I'm. I'm that's what I'm going to do for right now. That's harsh. And Dart's not even doing very much damage. Okay. And it's his new addition, so it's not very much damage right now. Dang it. What do I want to do here? Whiffed it. Oh, I gotta focus. Oh, no! 47. Ugh. What the hell is this? Dude. Crush. Oh my god, dude. Dude. That's not even going to help. How many turns does this guy get? I'm doing it. We're doing special.
He's pretty fast, yeah, seriously. He's getting all these turns. All right, so you guys said I should just take advantage of my magic, right? Oh, is this what you're talking about, Grand Blitz? Rose Storm. Okay. Is he Sonic? Yeah, he's got to go fast, right? So it's a defensive buff for my whole team. Rosestorm. It's a magic shield? Gotcha. Dude, animation for this is pretty sweet. Dart now. Should I just like use up everyone's magic? Is that what? This is intense. All right, good night, Archon. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. Three hundred thirty-nine damage. Thank you, thank you, Dart. Oh, is he? He's also guarding. No, come on, please. She was guarding, and we have the rose thing. Okay. She's still alive, right? Astral Drain. These animations are giving me the opportunity to drink my tea. burst already is that like super early for me to have that uh that spell Gramblitz? the effect of the magic is destroyed what oh his barrier should i do that or should i just attack this is meant to be more of an AoE. I kind of want to do the attack. And because Albert did the special, does it auto-perfect? Is that how it works? I forgot. I think it's auto-perfect, right? Oh, dude! Got him! That wind element. Okay, that felt really dangerous at first, but we were okay. <clears throat> A lot of levels up. Levels for everyone. Ah, <sighs> we did it. Arr! Gigantos, with strongest armor, lost me. Brother of hero has pride. Cannot live in disgrace. Kill me. Final burst is really good damage, so have it now is great. Oh, I'm glad to have it. Oh, it is never too early to have a spell. It is possible to have them all level 4 Dragoon right now if you wanted to spend time doing that. I have been doing a tiny bit of grinding off stream, but mostly to just get the timing of the additions. Not really to grind that much. As you wish. Dude, Rose. Still favorite character right now. Stop it. The game is already over. Game, don't be silly. This is a matter of life or death. It's over. He cannot fight. 
hope your sweetness won't kill you. Me lost. Why are you kind to me? Oh, should I go back and save? Can I go back and save? I'm going back to save. Just in case, just want to get a save in. Oh, I should heal. Should I go all the way back and heal, though? <clears throat> Should I go all the way back and heal? There was that heal room. Someone tell me. Should I go all the way back and heal? Because I'm thinking no. Even though Rose is about to die. <clears throat> Either way, we saved, so no big deal. There was a chest. Material shield. Whatever. Check that later. Oh, we know this room from the cutscenes. I wonder how you could have. how you could come all the way here. Silly daredevils. All right, so we have an idea again. This emperor is potentially corrupted by that Lloyd guy. You must be dull. Uncle, do you remember me? I am the son of your late brother, Albert. You remind me of Carlo 20 years ago. A blood-stained corpse in front of me. Why did you kill him? No man named Lloyd can be a good guy. <laughs> Plot music. Is that what it is, Grimbliss? Why did you have to divide Sergio by killing my father? To save Sergio from an incapable leader named Carlo. And now my hands are about to give birth to the new Sergio. Birth? What you are doing is only destructive. Yes, you have given birth to sorrow, pain, agony, and our anger. Tell me, why did you have Shauna taken away? Hey, Al Gore, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, you are talking about Lloyd's conspiracy. Finds the girl by the time the moon that never sets waxes. All is ordered by the reborn Emperor Diaz. Lloyd is a mere pawn. We got a follow. Thank you so much. Here's your mini dance party during a cutscene. Appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for the follow. All is ordered by the reborn Emperor Diaz. Lloyd is a mere pawn. Emperor Diaz, as in the dragon campaign from 11,000 years ago, correct? Is that right? Along with the dragoons. Silly. Emperor Diaz died in the dragon campaign. As a human hero, the moon that never sets. I don't care whether you believe it or not. It won't make any difference to the reality. You thought you would defeat me with greater numbers, right? Come, I'll send you to your father's place. Uncle Dol. I should have healed. I should have gone back to heal. Different song? New song. I should have healed. He's dual wielding. All right. Bad situation. Uh, okay. What is this element? Darkness. Classic.
Great. All right, let's try this. No potions? I saw. I got rid of all the potions, dude. That's why you use the zip lips emote. Okay. Okay. All right. The highest I've ever gotten, I think, with the multi was I think 240. Let's see. I'm not very warmed up. And this is the first one for today. Ah, 236. People are gonna die. People will die right now. She can Dragoon and use the heal thing. Let's do it. But then she won't be guarding. Oh, do I have MP though? I do. And this is not going to do much damage or heal because he's also darkness. Okay, still a ton of damage. Okay. Still plenty of damage. Oh, it isn't darkness, by the way. He is lightning. Purple. What? Guys, I'm so confused. Wasn't purple darkness? Or is... Or was Rose's attack? He is lightning? God, I'm so confused. Oh, is darkness that, like, dark blue? Please tell me all the colors and elements again. It's been so long, I've forgotten already. Um... It's guard time. No, I dare you. 86, dude. Brutal. And was it that lightning and non-elemental don't have any of the weakness interactions, right? Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Darkness is the dark blue. Thank you. I always got messed up with wind being green. Yeah. You guys are just going to guard for a while. Unfortunately. No. No. Okay, good. At least they're guarding. Indigo and purple. Gotcha. Yes. Chipping away. Playing it safe right now. This feels very mean. Great, thank you for the confirmation, Grand Blitz. So what is it? Fire and water. Wind and earth. Dark and light. And then lightning and non-elemental. Fire is red. Water is the light blue. Wind is the green. Earth is the brownish. Light is the yellow. Darkness is the indigo or dark blue. Lightning is purple. I think that's what throws me off. Lightning is purple. And then non-elemental, is that gray? Is Albert going to keep guarding? To play it safe, yes. I mean, let's just keep using items even though the element doesn't help. Right? 
but not this one. Let's just use whatever. I prefer to use it on Rose because she has higher magic attack, but she needs to defend right now. <gasps> 242! New high score! 242, guys. Ugh. If you want to play tough, I can play that way to something. I missed it. Of course he's a freaking dragoon, dude. Of course he's a lightning dragoon, right? Oh my goodness. Stop picking on Rose. She's dead, huh? No. Dude, the guard is so OP. Holy cow. Just keep guarding, Rose. Rose is the tank. I'm just going to keep using these because they're going to be more damaged than Dart's regular attack. Two thirty-eight. Plenty of damage. I still want Albert to guard. Playing it safe here. At least she's still healing more than she's uh, taking, but just barely. Just gonna keep doing it. Thirty-six. He really hates Rose. Yeah, it seems like it. <clears throat> Big attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. So unfair. Okay. Plenty of damage. What do I want to do right now? Keep guarding. Rose is okay. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going, Dart. Slowing down. I'm slowing down. <clears throat> Alright, Dart's taking a bunch of damage now. Yeah. Albert's turn. I'm gonna run out of this crap, huh? Oh yeah, this one was weird. It's Earth, but it's just like these floating boulders shooting lasers. Not as much damage. Probably because Albert's magic attack is low, maybe? Mm. Let's play it safe for a couple turns. Again, dude. Another big hit. Current Blitz, the announcer. Yeah, we're not going to find out next time, though. Hopefully we find out this time. What the hell was that? Wait, you said that, right, Rod? That Albert has low magic defense? Is that what happened right there? Holy cow. Oh, no.
Holy cow. Another attack. Miss! <laughs> I love that. After all that. I'm kind of scared of this. Wow! Imagine if I wasn't guarding! Just keep guarding, never attack. Again! Wow! Does Rose have good magic defense? I think she does, right? Let's see. Still 130, dude! I'm nervous. What do I want here? What do I want to do? What's the plan? I'm considering going Dragoon with Dart and using his uh, crazy spell, which he only has one of. I only have 30 MP. I'm wondering if it's still safe to just guard over and over. Albert and Rose have no SP. And doing anything other than guarding leaves them pretty vulnerable. She's down, dude. Okay. Serious mode. Hey, Discordia, what's up? How have you been? Tuxedo Mask, be aggressive. Okay. Let's go with that. Be, be aggressive. Thank you, Tuxedo Mask. I appreciate it. Okay. 242 was my high score. Two forty four, new high score. Two hundred fifty six damage, plenty. Let's be aggressive. Oh gosh, Legend of Dragoons, one of your all time favorites, Discordia. That's awesome. I'm having a ton of fun with it. Grand Blitz, don't stop. If you're having fun with the announcing, it's it adds to the uh, the flavor for sure. Oh my gosh, gotta have you in on a. Uh, on Discord voice and just announce it real time. Final burst. My very first cosplay was from this game back in 2003. That's awesome. Oh man, was it was it of a dragoon character? It was not good. But I'm sure you loved it, right? <laughs> Tuxedo Mask, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad to have you here and that you're telling us that you love this game. I um I missed out on it back in the day when it came out in the year 2000. And here I am enjoying it for the first time. A lot of cool people in chat who love this game. Oh, Dis Discordia. Oh, I do not know who that is. Great damage. 273, but he's vulnerable now. That's what sucks. It's gotta be a cult classic. That's that's those are the vibes I'm getting. No, this is gonna kill Dart, dude. Oh no. This is bad. This may kill everyone. This may be a wipe, and then we're gonna go heal before we attempt this again. Because we went in with Rose almost dead. <clears throat> My goodness. Dude. Okay. I have no more MP. I wonder if I should have restored Dart's MP using another character so I could do more final whatevers. 
All right, pray for me to get this perfect, okay? Nope, whiffed it. I only got three. Not great damage at all. How does he get all these turns as a Dragoon? We only get like two or three turns. Albert, what are you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna guard. What is this? He gets new moves? Oh, is it a shield? Rose is gonna guard then. Dude. Um That looks dangerous. Okay, 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 okay. Just four. Zero damage. Great. I had no other choice though, really. fighting system in this game so satisfying i wish more games adopted it yeah me too the uh timing based inputs are pretty satisfying um it's a diff definitely a different implementation of um timing based inputs compared to like the um the paper mario games for sure but there's also that game lost odyssey on xbox 360 the mistwalker game that also has timing-based inputs, but I've only played a very little of it, so I don't know how intricate the timing-based inputs get for that game. That's another one that people reference. <clears throat> uh, this is everyone guard. Stafia. You love Lost Odyssey. It was when I started this game. It was between Legend of Dragoon, in my mind. Legend of Dragoon and Lost Odyssey, so... I actually beat it for the first time. Did you enjoy it? You know, I know it's a long RPG. It's still on my short list of games to potentially stream, so... This attack is extra. Mustafa, would you say it's, um... Yeah, I was interested in Lost Odyssey for the story, for sure. I just don't know too much about the gameplay. Is this one an AoE? Dude, Albert! What is this shield, bro? Is this disc one? Yes, this is still only disc one. I'm not very far into the game, I, I don't think. Oh my god! <laughs> He's red. He's red. The little triangle on him is red. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get some damage in. And hope that the fight ends here. Um, if it doesn't, then I'm likely going to die and then we'll have to load the save. But I'm freaking going to heal before the fight because when we started this fight, Rose was already almost dead. Two forty. It's not over! I thought it was over! Ah! This is gonna kill Dart. <laughs> oh my goodness. So rude. So rude. Back to the lab, seriously.
Was that just exactly how much health he had? Wow. Game over. Is that my first game over? Holy cow. I probably not my first game over. It's just been a while. All right. Now we know. Yes, I should heal before proceeding. So let's go back to that research lab and touch the white light, the white flame, and heal the party. Dole is one of the more intense fights in the whole game, I'd say. I'm feeling it. Not a bad place to get a game over. That boss can be tough. It is, like, deceptively tough, right? It's just a guy. Uh, it's just going to be a long <clears throat> trek back. Or maybe not. Do I know? Do I remember the way? Should remember the way. Just realized this game doesn't have a cure spell or anything like that. Not really, not just a straight up cure for whatever. Cause you gotta like Dragoon mode in order to even use your MP. I think it was this way. <clears throat> yeah, and defend heals 10%. Yeah, that's right, Clark, and Dragoon does hear, heal uh, status ailments, which is something I should have used in a previous fight, in the last stream, I think. The enemies respawn! What is this, a Souls game? Are you serious? You don't have any healing breezes. I do not. I should probably buy some more. <clears throat> I do remember a merchant up ahead. <laughs> all right, all right. You guys are reminding me of things that I should take into account. You can use Rose's Astral Drain, which I did. I did attempt to. Dude, he's so weak against these fire enemies. That sucks. Oh, we got a follow from Tuxedo Mask. Everyone, let's join in on a mini dance party right here. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So sad this franchise. Oh, one second. Got it. So sad this franchise never got a sequel. I think the IP is in some weird limbo. I think so too. Is it advisable to fight normal battles to build up the Dragoon SP? Yeah, but I don't want to break the flow. You know what I mean? I'm just going. So maybe it's a blessing that there are enemies here. Maybe I'll <clears throat> do this thing on him. And everyone guard the top off before we leave the fight. Oh, healing breeze are from disc two. I think I had a couple though. That was like the heal the whole party, right? Okay, that's one cannot move from him. We gotta hydrate from TN. Thank you very much, TN. Okay. 
Just realized triple can only be used once per stream. Once once per person per stream, I think? Or is it once per stream completely? I forgot how I set that up. <clears throat> but you'll notice that the triple hydrate is at a slight discount, right? One channel point discount. <clears throat> While supplies last kind of deal. Right, isn't there a merchant right here? Yes. Alright. How much inventory space and all that crap do I have? Are we going to follow from the Spirit Detective? Thank you so much. And a resub from Discordia Dystopia. Longtime supporter of our channel. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the resub. Everyone join in and celebrate with the mini dance party. How's it going, Spirit Detective? How are you doing tonight? And Discordia, how have you been? I hope that you have been well this year. Staying cool this summer. Busy, productive, all of that good stuff. I didn't check, did I? Whatever. I barely have room. Okay, what can we sell? Sell one of these. Sparknet. I'm not using the charm potions. Do I care about these sachets? Yeah, weekend is over. It's all good though. Keep the sachets, okay, gotcha. Should I buy more spells? I feel like maybe. Or should I just top off on healing potions? Dude, healing potions kind of feel like a bummer at the same time because like I heal great, but then I'm vulnerable. I'm no longer guarding. And then I take 300 damage. Gotcha, Tuxedo Mask. I appreciate it. Now the question is, can I avoid these enemies that are right up here? Oh, they didn't respawn. Great. Okay, second try on Emperor Dole. Gotcha, Rudd. Yeah, I missed my opportunity to use it the first time, Rudd. And I appreciate chat at that time, not kind of just telling me immediately what to do. So now I have it in the back of my mind for a future encounters to consider trying out. Oops. Okay, what even is the strat this time? <clears throat> yeah tuxedo it's all good there was an opportunity to use one earlier tuxedo mask and um chat didn't tell me i didn't connect the dots and do it myself so after the encounter they told me i could have so now it's in my mind for the future potentially No skip, no skip cutscene. How's everyone doing tonight? You guys ready for another week? Ready for another Monday? By the way, check our schedule down below. Tomorrow, the other half of this channel, Audrey, is continuing her first playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you don't know, Audrey is hanging out with you right now in chat using the Reini account. And then on our schedule on Wednesday, 
Audrey and I are doing our duo stream, continuing our playthrough of Final Fantasy X. Um, it is a first playthrough for Audrey, although she is familiar with certain aspects of the story. And it is a first time in like 20 years for me playing through Final Fantasy X. And that's pretty sweet. Thank you, Tuxedo Mask. All right. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Did you two happen to start watching Dark? We did not. The show that you uh, recommended on our Discord, right? But thank you for putting it on our ra radar. Um, we have a couple shows that we're going through right now, so it's on the queue. All right. Do I Dragoon right off the bat then? I'm going to say yeah. Oh, it looks like Tuxedo Mask is a fan of Dark as well. Yeah, when you uh, pitched it to us, Blur, the idea that it's just like, oh, it's just three seasons and it's over. Makes it feel like not too um, intimidating, you know, daunting of a task. You know what sucks is we've healed up, yes, but my arm is now tired from doing all of those multis for the spells. Three novels in film form. What? Oh, it's based on novels? That's cool. Rose, let's see how much damage Rose. No, I'm saying the writing is of, of a novel level. Novel level. Oh, okay, cool. Just praise for the writing in general. Two thirty. Two forty one damage. Very good. What to do with Albert? Right? Gust of Wind Dance, is that the best thing I have for Albert right now, probably? I better land that. I better land- Oh, it's so much damage! Yeah, I better land that. Okay, great. In one turn, getting him to uh, transform. <laughs> Gust of Wind Dance is very strong. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Get the Dragoon level and use Rose Blossom. Great point, Rod. Great point. But you don't get much SP from it compared to, like, relative to how difficult it is to land. Dude. Albert's dead. Well, no, I have potions now. I have, like, five potions. It's taken a lot of practice, Fawn Master, for sure. But it's 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 satisfying to get it. Especially having to uh, switch to Albert and getting his timings. Wow, the magic defense differential here is very apparent. So here's the thing. Do I use a potion on Albert or do I just do another Gust of Wind dance? Because if this guy does another one of those, he's dead. Right? What do you guys think? A potion on Albert? How about Astral Drain? I used it in my last attempt and it only healed like 72 on my team. I'm, it healed everyone. But a potion's gonna heal in like 300. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do both things, maybe? 
Astral Drain and a potion? Have Rose use the potion on Albert. I was thinking of using more spells with Rose to get damage out. But let's try that. Just so that we can keep getting SP for Albert. And then we can use his um, Rose Blossom. I like that idea. Get the defensive stuff on out of Albert as soon as possible. Oh, got it, dude. Thanks for that um, idea, Fun Master. Yeah, and don't worry too much about backseating right now. I'm straight up asking you guys what you think. I'm like formulating multiple options and then just asking you guys what you guys think might be the best course of action. So I appreciate your, your input. I mean, I'm glad we used the potion here because look, he's doing it again. Hmm. It's so much damage. I feel like now doing Rose's uh, heal, Astral Drain, is good. Gotcha, Rod. I think I think we just understood that in general for uh, all the characters, right? But thanks for the reminder. Oh, that's a good point, Morton. Less damage from Dole. I guess Dole's pulling it, doling out a bunch of magic damage, right? Something to consider for sure. A little nervous right now, Albert. I need it to be Albert's turn. Okay, pray for me. Can I get a perfect right now? So close. That fifth one's hard. Not very much. Here we go. With this, I'll be able to go on the offensive. We'll see. Oh, okay, I see, Grand Blitz. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, Hashel would um, just take less damage, more survive, more survivability from him. Rose Storm. I mean, I don't want to start thinking about the next attempt. I want to still be a little optimistic about this attempt. Keep that in mind if there is to be another attempt. Fawn Master. With this team, I would have Dart and Albert be on the offensive with Rose resporting them with heals. I see you, but also Rose has the highest magic damage. And I can do about 130, 140 damage with the, um, the multi-spell items. <clears throat> with Rose. But, um... I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's worth just having Rose. Because I have a couple potions left. I'll keep that in mind. She still has another Astral Drain to do right now. Astral drain. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe I'll just use those offensive spells on whoever I can. Using whoever I can. However, for Albert, I need—I feel like I need to just keep doing his Gust of Wind dance so I can get the SP to keep using Rose Blossom, right? Or whatever it is, Rose Storm. Is that Albert's role right now? Just Gust of Wind dance and then Dragoon and then defensive buff. With Dole doing AoE attacks, you'll want one of them healing the other two. Yeah, it makes sense. In that case, I don't know. I feel like Dart healing the other two because Rose can put out more damage with those spells. Does that make sense? Because honestly, right now, Dart has the lowest damage output. Thinking about it like that. <coughs> yeah, let's think about it in, in those terms for right now. Okay, I had attempted to do physical damage on this barrier. Is it cheating for you guys to tell me whether or not magic damage goes through? Will you tell me that or should I just attempt and waste a turn doing that? <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm tempted to just guard whenever I see this thing up. Do you guys know if magic damage goes through this barrier? Don't attack. Love it. Guard during this time. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, you guys saying don't attack makes it seem like a... Uh, makes, it, makes it seem like a... Um, hit this thing and he'll counterattack kind of thing. I just guard? Okay, cool. He's just stalling, wasting our turns right now with our defense. This is bad. I feel like it's worn off already by now. The Rose Storm or something. Another big hit, but at least everyone's guarding right now. Attacking is just a waste gotcha. Pretty good. And he still has the shield. So I just keep guarding them. That's what that means to me. What a bummer, dude. Hey, Shafter, what's up? How are you doing tonight? Hope you had a good weekend. It's not cool. He can just chip away at us like this. Oh, what was my plan? Okay. Two forty, that's good. Good, good, good. It's so important that I'm landing these now. Dart. Who do I use a potion on? Do I have many potions left? No. <clears throat> Here's where my mind is at. He's likely to do a big AoE. So if I have Dart guard instead of anything else... Well, actually, is he red yet? He's red. Should I also have Dart do an offensive spell right now? for a bunch of damage. Yeah, let's just do the damage. I think everyone can tank a hit. Oh no. Whiff that little 
228 still. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Thank you, Shafter. Yeah, it has been a little while. Were you here when I had Sephiroth hair, my long silver hair? Maybe you missed out on that too. Yeah, I dyed it silver for um, our charity stream before I cut it. No one is guarding right now. Okay. We're okay. All right, we're, we got guard on healing duty. Honestly, gonna go damage. With Rose. Dart will use a potion on Albert, and Albert's gonna gust the wind dance. Rose may die, though. Thirty-eight. Big damage. Come on. Yes, dude. Yes, we did it. Thank you guys so much for your help. <sighs> Going for the damage there. Thank you guys for your help. Still felt tough, but we made it. You have become strong. What you should know is not the past, but the future. Pursue Lloyd. He is in the western country of Ty Tiberoa. Tiberoa. He, he knows everything. I'm guessing Dart knows it. Go and find out about the world, about everything. Blood, dude. Is that the first blood in this game? Dude, thank you guys for your help and cheering me on. <clears throat> Is this the end? Of this story arc, I think. Still a lot of questions. My uncle's, er, uh, Emperor Dole's ambitions are over. It places an end to the ceaseless, to the ceaseless long war that has divided Serdio into two. This is the end of our journey, everyone. Not yet. It's not over yet. This journey began when Shauna was taken away. When Lavitz was killed, and Lloyd headed for Tiberoa, leaving the mystery about Shauna behind. behind. <clears throat> I am pursuing Lloyd. I'll make him explain everything. I'll go with you. I still don't know anything about our about Virage or what it, what was said by Emperor Diaz. My journey cannot end like this. I'll go with you, Dart. My journey cannot end either. Whatever conspiracy the man is forming, the moon gem is one of the keys. Hollowed object, concealing the magic power of the ancient winglies. We have to stop it before it ignites a, cat a, cat a catastrophe in Tiberoa. I'll go with you to Tiberoa. I'll give up my stat status as king for a while and live as a dragoon instead. Lavitz would have completely... Lavitz would have completely agreed. Rose, what about you? 
I told you, I'm interested in you guys. So, besides, you feel naked without me, don't you? If Rose is going, that's the end of my role. Ashel, where are you going? This is... It's time. When dragoons meet, blood will flow, and as they leave, time does slow. It's your choice to leave your fate behind. The question is answered. Draga dragoon spirits are leading us. Yes. Yes. Hashel. I mean, I've, I felt it coming, right? Lightning, lightning dude. He's the only one that's not a dragoon right now. A little predictable, but also very cool. I need to see his dragoon form for sure. Please insert disc two. We did it. Thank you guys so much. I think that is a perfect time to end the stream. I need to get some sleep. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm having a ton of fun with this game. I've been out for like two weeks due to illness, but I'm back. I'm not 100%, so I need to make sure I get some sleep tonight. I've been down in all these cough drops, drinking my tea, but thank you guys for energizing me and helping me enjoy this game more than if I was just playing it by myself. So many of you guys have tuned in with your own experiences with this game, and it's a pleasure uh, having your experience and knowledge to lean on and your passion to, um, you know, to uh, motivate me to keep going. Um, please check our schedule down below. Tomorrow, Audrey is continuing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Wednesday, we are continuing Final Fantasy X together, and then more Legend of Dragoon. I think on our schedule, it's Friday. Our schedule is in a little bit of a flux. We're trying to figure out what fits our life right now, so there may be changes. You can always follow us on our Discord for any schedule changes, or just check here on Twitch. We try to keep up to date. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys. Shafter, TN, Mermaid, Azer, hey, what's up? Grand Blitz, Stafia, Blur, Cyrus, Mermaid, Rod was here for a while, Morton, Dave, thanks for lurking, Dave, thanks for the well wish. Thank you for the well wishes, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I look forward to hanging out with you more in our streams later this week. Feel free to follow us on Twitch and Instagram, or Twitter and Instagram as well. You can check out um, higher quality recordings of our streams on YouTube, youtube.com slash Reany. If you want to rewatch any of our streams, I recommend YouTube instead because those recordings um, are of a higher quality. Um, and you can also join us on our Discord. A lot of fun people talking about a lot of fun things there. Not just video games, but also plenty of video games. Thank you guys for ver uh, very much for hanging out. And I'm excited for the next stream because we are going to start disc two of this lovely game that I missed out on, The Legend of Dragoon. I hope you guys all have a restful night of sleep and uh, have a great week. I will see you soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.